head north from Norbury and you're soon into the land of cuttings. In this instance, it's autumn and we're on board an historic boat complete with Bollander engine. And it demonstrates just how the tropy changes between the seasons. In autumn, the cuttings are much more open. You can even sometimes see buzzards playing between the trees. There's particular peace and quiet about it. Of course, back in the summer, it was a very different story. As you come out of the Grub Street cutting, you're almost immediately on top of the famous Anchor Inn. It's a very old fashioned pub and probably one of the best known on the canal. It serves Wadworth 6X by the way. Head north again and you're on to the Shebden Embankment. You and the birds. It's wide open with lovely views across to the Recon. Even here the trees shade the canal from the worst of the wind. It's also the home of Bethsida Covers operated by Tony Saunders on a pair of boats on Shebden Wharf. North again and you're out into the countryside and soon you arrive at Goldstone Wharf. It's a favourite stopping place with boaters and several of the day boats from Norbury Wharf will turn round here, or at least stop for a drink in the Wharf Inn. This is the last stop before we hit the locks that drop down to Market Drayton as a water point. So it's a favourite place to pause before we start the uh, descent. <laughs> 